तो आर्टिकल 44 मतलब यूसीसी मतलब समान नागरिक संहिता एक ऐसा लॉ है जो हिंदू मुस्लिम हेलो एवरी वन आई नो यू हैव मल्टीपल डाउट वेन एवर यू हेयर यूनिफॉर्म सिविल कोड In this video we'll try to clear your basics and answer your question by exploring what does it mean by uniform civil code how it is linked with the indian constitution what was the debate during the framing of the constitution and what does it mean for us today do watch the video till the end and if you have any question do let us know in the comment section a civil code is a codification of civil laws relating to contract property family and obligation Presently in India matters like contract transfer of property have uniformity this means they are applicable to all in the same way for example the transfer of property act 1882 and indian contract act 1872 but when it comes to the personal laws like marriage divorce and inheritance they don't have this uniformity which means that they are different for different religion so broadly ucc aims to bring uniformity to these personal laws like marriage divorce and inheritance irrespective of their religion caste and gender the direction for ucc is given in article 44 in the directive principle of state policies in the indian constitution article 44 mentions that the state shall endeavor to secure for the citizens a uniform civil code throughout the territory of india before we dive deep into what ucc means let us understand what the directive principle of state policies are as the name suggests its directive principles they are like guide for state for promoting social justice economic welfare and overall well-being of the people they are different from fundamental rights the directive principles are not enforceable and binding but they serve as a political directives for the government in achieving an ideal society many laws and policies are based on dpsp for example equal pay for equal work forms the basis of equal wages act organization of village panchayat forms the panchayati raj act and the free legal aid forms the basis of the legal service authority act it is clear therefore that the state is responsible for putting ucc into effect at some point when and how is a question that needs a lot of consideration let us examine some of the consideration of the member of the constituent assembly during the framing of the constitution the supporters of ucc were of the view that this will unite the country strongly member of constituent assembly k m munshi was of the view that religion must be restricted to spheres which legitimately belongs to religion all other spheres of life must be regulated in a way that is uniform and unified he said that this will produce national unity and a strong and consolidated india aladi krishna swami ayer felt that differences in matters of inheritance properties in fact contributes to differences among people of india the ucc in his opinion promoted peace and unity by having a common measure of agreement on personal laws so we see that the supporters of ucc give importance to the principle of unity however during the assembly debates there were member who expressed concern about bringing ucc member of constituent assembly b poker while giving his speech argued in favor of freedoms he referred to india's freedom struggle and said that having obtained that freedom we should now not give up on people's freedom of conscience and religion he further point out that given to the diversity of our country personal laws pertaining to different religion need to be protected mehboob ali beg sahib bahadur opposed the ucc saying that as a secular state laws of all religion should be respected the impact of ucc on tribal culture was also raised since the culture of customs of tribals are unique to each tribe and ucc proposes uniformity it was felt that this would impact them as well so broadly all these concerns were based on the principles of protecting freedom they were trying to ensure that the citizens should have the freedom to practice the tenet of their religion their contention was that this uniformity will bring discontent 
and affect the harmony between people. Given other important issues at that time, the further discussion on UCC was paused and it was left for the future parliament to decide on. Baba Sahab Ambedkar said that it is upon the future legislature to make a provision on this article, but it shall be purely voluntary for the citizens to be bound by the code. All the arguments, whether from the supporters or from the people who are concerned with UCC, were majorly based on freedom or unity. These concerns are even valid today. We, as a citizen, must reflect to some of the important questions in the present context. How are we going to create balance between the values of freedom and unity? How are we going to ensure proper representation from communities in the process of creating UCC? How are we going to ensure that UCC does not adversely impact the diverse culture of our country? And is UCC an urgent need or can its implementation take place somewhere in future? There are multiple questions which needs to be addressed. Do let us know what you feel in the comment section. And if you like this video, click on the like button, share it with your friends and subscribe to our channel. Thank you so much for watching.